Alrighty, Pisces, so this is going to be your reading for December. This is going to be a mid-month. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure that you do hit that subscribe button if you do want to see my messages in the future, if this message does resonate with you. Also, make sure that you guys do like and comment if this message does resonate with you because it lets me know if you guys enjoy my readings. And also, I just like to engage with you guys. So definitely feel free. Also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading with me, all of my information is going to be listed below and at the beginning of the video for you to contact me. I do have a sale going on until the 25th so that you can get a phone call session with me for only $30. So check that out. Make sure you guys are reaching out for that. And yeah, also if you do not have Pisces in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placement, I would definitely check out my other videos as well. I don't know if I said that already, but... Whatever, we're gonna get straight into the reading, okay? Alrighty, so what's going on with my Pisces? Pisces for December 2018. Watch out a card flipped. Okay, so for the second half of December, I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be motivated. Okay, you may be motivated to achieve certain things in your life. You may have like certain goals in mind or you're just having this inner drive to accomplish things, okay, which is beautiful. Um, some of you guys also, you may be struggling with that if you're not a Pisces who's operating from that energy. You may be struggling with that. So... With the lack of motivation, if you are a Pisces who is experiencing that, you may need to look at the profession or what you're doing at the moment and why you're not feeling motivated to kind of keep going, okay? But overall, I feel like you guys should be open to or you guys need to be in a space of allowing yourself to receive things, okay? And by... Me saying that, when I say allow yourself to receive blessings, you need to be in a space of not really sabotaging yourself, okay? And when I say don't sabotage yourself, don't, you know, reject opportunities that you know can be good for you. Do not slack off and, you know, don't get stuff done in a timely manner. Pushing things off to the side, like making sure that you guys are allowing yourself to receive it by putting the work in. And also just not self-sabotaging yourself, um, not by your behavior, not by any of that, okay? I'm not saying that's something that you guys do, but I just had to clarify that just in case anybody was confused. But overall, I am seeing that new projects are going to be coming into fruition this month. Some of you guys may be expecting a new baby. Some of you guys may be starting a new project like something new or like an extension of a project that you have going on as well i just see newness around you i see like things are just blossoming around you okay whether that's good or bad but overall yes i am seeing that there's some new creative projects coming in some of you guys are actually having a baby congratulations on that um but your your creative expression is like, whatever you do creatively, it's going to have the spotlight on it, okay? Make sure you're not being hard on yourself, though, with this spotlight kind of being focused in on what you do creatively. They're fine. Everything that you're doing is fine. Just make sure that, you know, you are looking over the details and not being hard on yourself. Don't hang up on the little, little things too, too much, okay? Also, you'll benefit a lot more when it comes to what you have going on this month by being more vulnerable and being more open to expressing how you feel to others so that people can see that they can relate to you, okay? And also, listening to how you feel emotionally so that you can kind of see where to go next in your journey as well. This is for December mid -month. Okay, so some of you guys 
are not tuning into your guardian angels though. So make sure that you are, that you are, you are reconnecting because I feel like some of you guys, you may have came out of a dark place. And ever since you came out of that dark place, you haven't been connecting as much. So you need to get back in touch with yourself spiritually so that you can fully understand what's going on. Okay. Some of you guys do need to take a break. You need to take some sort of time for yourself whoa hold on guys yeah some of you guys need to take some sort of time for yourself energetically so that you can get your emotions in a really good place or in a better place because it may be like all over the place your circumstances or your surroundings may be affecting your emotions as well some of you guys also, I feel like you are going to be needing to take care of your body, especially if you're pregnant. Um, body care is going to be big. Like it, it's very important. Um, you need to also make sure that even if you're not pregnant, that you're taking care of your body because your energy may be drained due to the fact that you may not be putting the proper things in your body or just really appreciating your body enough, okay? But overall, I am seeing abundance come in for you guys. Okay, the coin is going to be coming in. Um, If you're a creative person like music or somebody who does like things on social media, I am seeing abundance come in. But you do need to listen to what your spirit guides have to say to you because they really have some things to chat with you about, okay? And it's going to be important for you to have open ears, also, you need to practice or exercise forgiveness, whether that's with spouses who may have wronged you, family members, friends, circumstances that may have like provided a lot of hurt, whatever it may be, you need to be in a space of forgiving that, understanding the lesson and then moving forward and not kind of holding grudges and being malicious, okay? I feel like you guys are needing to not suppress yourself. Like if you have a creative way or a certain way that you go about things, suppressing yourself is not going to really help you step into your life purpose. So you need to fully step into who you are and don't let people kind of tell you, oh, you need to chill out or don't make people feel or make people feel, make you feel, don't let people make you feel like you need to be this, I don't know, this composed person or whatever. Who you are is who you are. And if people can't take you that way, then don't change yourself because when people find out that you're not who you say you are, then you let people down. So it's better to come as you are, honestly, okay? That's why I come as I am. But anyways, um, things are unfolding right now. A lot of things are unfolding. You're kind of in the motion of the ocean right now, okay? Things may be a little weird hazy but understand that things are unfolding and you'll see the big picture in the end all right um also yeah you guys are really going to be looking internally at where you guys are wanting to go in the future and what's really unfolding for you so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you guys and it looks pretty positive like i said make sure you guys are tuning into what the universe is trying to tell you because it keeps popping up and I feel like I have to keep saying it. Your angels want me to relay this message to you. So check in with them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this reading resonated with you, make sure you like this video. Again, if you do need a personal reading, hit me up and I will see you beautiful Pisces next year. Bye Pisces.